Are these the secret to security while on the road? Let's check them out. Dave Taylor here and I want to talk about security this time. So, we already talk a lot about VPNs or virtual private networks. Really smart if you're on a public Wi-Fi. And I also highly encourage you to always enable two-factor authentication, which is supported by a lot of different services. So what are the two factors? They are what you know and what you have. What you know generally is your account and password pair. And then what you have is usually your smartphone so that the service can text you a number that you also have to enter. That works pretty well. But the problem is, what if there's something happening with your phone? What if it's dead? What if you don't have cell service? What if someone's stolen it? What if you're just not very good at entering numbers? All of those situations, or worse, what if you're part of a company and not everyone has a phone? So, enter something called security keys. That's what I'm looking at here. These are security keys from a company called YubiKey. And let's actually start with my favorite. This is, let's pull it out of the container. This is a USB-C 4C security key from YubiKey. And as you can see, whoops, <laughs> as you can see, if I can hold on to it, it's pretty tiny. And the idea of this is it's a query response device. So it's not doing end-to-end -end encryption or anything fancy like that. It just replaces that two-step authentication for your phone and it's a whole lot more secure. So let me actually show you how this works and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it more. To demo this, I'm gonna use my Dropbox account and I'm gonna add a YubiKey security key to make sure that my connection is secure and that no one else can use it unless they have the key. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to settings. And then in settings, there's a tab called security. And that's what I'm gonna use. And then scroll down and you'll see there's security keys. Now I already have one key, I'm gonna add a second one. It's easy, add new key. I then put the key into the USB port, but first let me go ahead and actually verify myself with the password. Now I can put it in, and once I've put it in the port, I touch key inserted. And this is when I would actually touch the dot or um, button on it to make sure that it's enabled. And there it is, done. So I'll finish up. And now let me log out and log in again and you'll see how this looks. So I'm gonna sign out and then sign in to my Dropbox account again. But here it says, insert your security key. Pretty nice. Now notice this send SMS instead on here too. That's just because I also have a phone number registered just as a backup, but now I'm in. That's pretty easy and it's nice and secure. So as you can see, it's a pretty cool technology and pretty easy to work with. Turns out that these work, these universal second factor devices, work with Google and Windows and Mac OS and Linux and Dropbox and Facebook, Salesforce. Ooh, there's a lot of different services that work with these and that's great because my goal is always to be as securely connected as possible even though I don't always use secure networks. So something like the YubiKey is a big win. So let's go back and this again is the YubiKey USB-C 4C. So this works with USB-C and then I have another one here which is slightly bigger and this is the YubiKey 4 with USB 3.0 support. So you see it's a different connector on the end of it. And then the third one's even more interesting. So it's very similar to the USB 4, or I mean the USB 3, but this one actually adds NFC support. So here's what's crazy about this, is if you're using this with an app through an Android phone that supports NFC, you can literally just touch the phone to this device and it will actually get the key and it will actually log you in. You don't even need this plugged into anything. I find that a little mind boggling, pretty cool stuff. But YubiKey has more than just these three. YubiKey has the Neo, which is what this one is with NFC, and it has the four, which is what these two are, but it also has something called FIDO, which is another universal two-factor that works right out of the box with services like Gmail and Facebook. Pretty cool. So, 
I'm a big fan of these. I think it's a simple, elegant solution that means that I don't have to be freaking out about, oh my gosh, where's my phone? I don't have cell service. I can't log in and do my work. Um, so these are a nice alternative. And as you can see, they're small. You can easily put this on your keychain, and it works great. I wouldn't put it in my computer bag because this plus your computer obviously lowers your security. So you want to have them separated. Now, how much do they cost? Well, hold on, before we get there, can I ask that you click that subscribe button? I really appreciate that. Now, let's see, they are actually pretty darn reasonably priced. You would think they'd be pretty expensive, but this one, this is the USB-C 4C, and it's $50. And if you want the one, let's see, this is the uh, 4 Series USB 3.0, this is $40. And add the one that has, oops, sorry, the other way around, add the one that has NFC, and that one goes up to uh, $60, because it's a little bit more technology. And that's about the price range of all of their products. Really nice. Now curious you want to pick up one of these and experiment with it or maybe deploy it across all of the employees in your company not a bad idea these you can pick up at ubico.com i encourage you to check them out and always always make sure that you're safe and secure and you stay safe and secure online because that's pretty darn important this is dave taylor and i'll catch you in my next video